the soldier's soldier, a title Constant Felyun's admirers gave him for defying rank and leading from the front, personally directing apartheid-era operations, including the 1978 attack on a Swapo camp in Kasinga, Angola, killing more than 600 people. The Truth and Reconciliation Commission would later refer to the bloody incursion as one of the single biggest incidents of gross human rights violations. But that didn't stop Phil Yoon, who lost only four men in the operation, from seeing it as both a victory and a badge of honor. The butcher of Kasinga. That's what he was known in some circles because he led the South African Defense Force into a camp in Angola, which at that time, I think it was in May 1978, was home to about 2,000 or more refugees from Namibia. Southwest Africa, as it then was known. It was a blood curdling attack. Inside South Africa, the army had a deadly chemical warfare program. Phil Yoon, at one time, instructed his army's chemical warfare unit head, Voter Basson, to manufacture a gas that would neutralize what he called black people's offensive spirit. Now I therefore put the challenge to my scientists to say, is there no other weapon that one can develop uh, for the purpose of uh, controlling mobs? For example, a type of gas that would uh, calm people down instead of in in inciting them. Phil Yoon would later admit to and seek amnesty for having been part of a right-wing plot that led to the deaths of several people friend, during the AWB-led incursion into the then please. homeland of Boputatswana. The month before the election, the last apartheid-era army chief would leave his loose coalition of formations that argued for a self-governing territory for Afrikaners to form the Freedom Front, becoming its founding leader. After winning 2.2% of the national vote, he would take up one of the nine seats the party had secured in the National Assembly, only to retire at the end of the term to be replaced by this man. He was always honest and upfront, and for this reason, him and Mr. Mandela got along very well. His reputation preceded him, and in times where we negotiated important, difficult constitutional articles, with the ANC, they treated him with the utmost respect. As Phil Yoon would discover, commanding an army and leading a political party wasn't quite the same. He was too honest, but that was not easy for him to be in politics. Vuyam Voko, Johannesburg.